everyone. Thank you for joining us for the MacDesk Floor Report for Thursday, May 10th. I'm Rebecca Darst from the MacDesk, and the first, for the first time in a few days, we're sailing on relatively smooth seas in today's market. We're up about 47 points in the Dow right now, and the reason is mostly the very same reason why we've been down in AM trade over the past few days. Europe, and not necessarily even the news flow out of Europe, but the rumor mill. This morning we had some positive chatter about the possibility of a Greek coalition government that will keep the country in the Eurozone, although there's plenty of punditry around suggesting that this is unlikely to be the case. In response, we saw a pickup in the Euro after eight straight days of declines, and concerns around the rest of the periphery were eased after a three-day streak of gains in Spanish bond yields was broken, that bringing a little relief to the outlook for debt funding in Spain. Remember, there have been some rumblings about possible bank nationalizations in Spain that have been a major source of market jitters. Here in the U.S., weekly jobless claims showed a decline of 1,000 new claims last week, coming in at 367,000. This was roughly in line with analyst expectations and no great shakes there. But we also saw a wider than expected trade deficit for the month of March to 51.8 billion. That month, analysts had been looking for the deficit to come in around 50 billion compared to 45.4 billion in February. Some analysts we follow say this could elicit a downward revision to Q1 GDP. It's definitely a situation to watch. So the S&P up about six points at 1360. Uh, we're approaching some short-term technical resistance levels that Art Cashin has pointed to today. After the 1363 to 65 level, he sees resistance at 1368 to 72. VIX, meanwhile, is down about 4%, trading just above a reading of 19, having closed just a hair above 20 yesterday. It's worth mentioning that VIX futures are pricing in volatility in the 20 to 25 range for the balance of the year. Trading in S&P uh, options so far, in the S&P ETF rather, this morning has been a mixed bag. We're seeing some early buyer demand for June calls, about 5% out of the money, but also some demand for at-the-money May puts. Now, we're winding down earnings season, but, following, but we are following another 40-plus companies out with numbers after the bell. If you're on deck to report tonight, give us a call on the Mac desk for a look at how traders are positioning in anticipation of your earnings. For additional market insights, be sure to check your inbox at 1 p.m. for the midday. For now, that's it for me, Rebecca Darst, for the Mac desk Floor Report.